Hello there. Would anyone have thought a few years ago that pro-UK Scots would be cheering Alex Salmond on over the next couple of days? Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. They say a week is a long time in politics, and this is being borne out in Scotland. The previously unassailable Nicola Sturgeon has been seriously holed by a broadside from Alex Salmond on Friday, and he is now set to open up a second front in the next couple of days. And it might be that Sturgeon doesn't have the defences to deal with this second front. Nicola Sturgeon must already be reeling from the contents of Alex Salmond's evidence to the inquiry set up to check out the Scottish Government, uh, set up against him. And as a details person, well, reputedly, Sturgeon and her team would probably have spent most of the weekend poring over the Salmond evidence, trying to find the flaws or ways to put a different spin on it. And Sturgeon is due in front of the Holyrood Inquiry herself on Wednesday to make her case and defend her position. But while she's doing that, Salmond is making his own preps to give evidence either tomorrow or Tuesday, to James Hamilton QC in an inquiry over whether or not Nicola Sturgeon actually broke the ministerial code. And Salmond won't be as hamstrung in this inquiry as he was last Friday, when limits were set by what was in his published, but Scottish Parliament corporate body redacted, evidence. And the Mail reports that Salmond's former Chief of Staff, Jeff Aberdeen has already given evidence to Mr Hamilton, evidence that Holyrood could not publish. And the Times says that this Aberdeen evidence could show that Sturgeon knew about the allegations against Salmond weeks before she claimed she knew. Now it's anyone's guess which way this will go, but I get the general feeling the tide is turning against Nicola Sturgeon she could be forced to resign as First Minister of Scotland within the week. And if so, with only weeks to go to the Holyrood elections, it could prove devastating for the SNP and their push for a second independence referendum. So I'm wondering if the SNP government would then be looking to find a COVID-19 excuse to postpone the elections until they'd switched off the fan and scraped the walls down. I would not put it past them. And there's one thing to note here. The Holyrood elections are due to be called at the latest on, I think, the 24th of March. Normally, at that stage, the Scottish Parliament would completely shut down until after the elections. But this year, although it will not sit, the Scottish Parliament will remain ready to rush in right up until the day before the elections to vote to delay those elections should the pandemic force them to do so. But if they did that, the SNP government would also have to work out a way of quietly further delaying the publication of the OECD Education Report, a report that many believe is extremely damaging to the SNP government. Seems they might be in a bit of a pickle. So, do you think the Salmon evidence will do for Sturgeon? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.